What's up everyone, it's Thad from Thad's Video Game Entertainment and today um, I'll be showing you guys my entire collection of gaming consoles and you know video games in general and stuff. I have quite a few of each. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, this will be very interesting, so... Yeah, let's go. So... Um, start with this side first. So, um... These are all my Sonic games. Uh, I have... Sonic Rider Zero Gravity um, for the Wii. Sonic and Ticket All-Stars Racing for the Wii. Sonic and the Black Knight for the Wii. Sonic and Leash for the Wii, Sonic, Sonic Colors for the Wii. Um, that's actually a game I love. Um, same with that one. Uh, and then I have Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut for over here for the Nintendo GameCube. And right here I have uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube. And then... Uh, Then I have Sonic Mega Collection. Um, it has all of the like old Genesis games and stuff. It's pretty cool. Then I have Sonic Gems Collection right here. Um, and it also has some of the old games too, but just not the Genesis ones. It has like um, this one has um, like I guess all the fifth gen games. Well, the, all the 5th gen games are like the like main games in it. Uh, all the Game Gear ones are t um, side games to me. They're like guest games, I guess. But, yeah. Um, I guess overall, um, um, this one does have a lot of the 4th gen start games. Um, kind of like this one, but this one has all the Game Gear ones. And then... Um, it also has uh, some of the 5th gen ones too, like Sonic R and stuff, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And then I have Sonic Heroes right here. Um, that's a great game. I mean, it's not one of my favorites or anything, but it's still really good though. And I have Sonic Riders. Um, it's a racing Sonic game, obviously, where you're on hoverboards and stuff. And then, then I have Sonic Lost World for the Wii U. Um, that game is pretty good too. This one, um, this one I think is okay. I'm not really into the. I don't know. It, it's it's an okay game. This game is actually, um, <laughs> it's supposedly very very bad, but you know I think it's okay. Again, um, and then I have Star Trek Six right here, which is a game I love. Um, yeah, please don't shoot me. Um, yeah, I love Star Trek Six, and then. I have Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360. This is also a game I love. Um, I think this one's actually a bit better than Sonic 06 in my opinion, but you know I still really like Sonic 06 though. Um, yeah, both of these games in my opinion are great games. Um, and then I have Dreamcast Collection right here. Um, as you guys may know, I am doing a playthrough on Sonic Adventure um, in this game basically. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I have Sonic Free Riders, which is another supposedly bad Sonic game because you know the controls and stuff are just obnoxious I mean to me they're okay but you know sometimes um sometimes I just feel like people just don't know how to play this game properly but I don't know I'm most likely wrong then I have my top favorite game right here Sonic Generations um this is a, this is actually the game that um turned me into a Sonic fan um so yeah I do really recommend this game for Sorry Sonic fans. If you, if you're um, getting into the Sonic games, I guess if you're if you really want to turn to a Sonic fan, yeah, you should start off with this game. Um, now enough with the Sonic games. At least all of these ones. I think I have more. Um, let's start with the Halo games. Um, and this is the first one for the Xbox, or well, the original Xbox. Um. I do, I don't really love the Halo games, I think, I just, I don't know, um, I do really like them, but I just don't love them, um, Master Chief is actually my favorite, well, my third favorite video game character out of 
Sonic and Mario. So yeah, this is actually a pretty good game. This is actually a classic. Yeah, Halo is a pretty good game. And so is, I mean, okay, um, I also have Halo 2 as well. But, you know, I think this one's better than Halo 2. Um, but yeah, Halo 2 is pretty much the same as this one. But, you know, it's a different story and some of the guns are different and stuff. Then I have Halo Reach. Um, actually, some of the first Halo games I've owned were um, this one, um, the original, and then Halo Reach. Halo Reach I played, like, a lot with my stepbrother. This is a great game. But, of course, not still not one of my favorites, though. And then I have Halo 4 right here. Um, this one I actually beat a few months ago. This is also a great game. Uh, and then um, I have the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, which is a remake of this one. So, yeah, this, this game isn't really any different from this one. It's just that the... Uh, sorry about the camera angle. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's just that the... Um, textures and stuff are different and you know the whole game looks more modernized than this one of course and then i have uh call of duty 2 right here um it, it's okay not great but it's okay um this i think this is the original modern yeah this is a modern warfare um this game is a classic and then there's Modern Warfare 2 right here, which is also a classic. And then, I mean, even though it's like 10 years old, but whatever, who cares? And then we have Modern Warfare 3, which is also... I don't know if I would say if... I don't know if I'd say if it's a classic or not, but it's pretty good, I guess. Um, yeah, it, really all the... Really all of um, the games right here are pretty good games. Um... And then I have Call of Duty Ghosts, which is, I actually beat this game a couple years ago, and it was probably like back in 2015 maybe, but yeah, um, I have more than one copy of this game, I have like, so I have the Xbox 360 version, and, I have the P and then I have the PS4 version, and then the Wii U version of that game. Anyway, then I have uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, um, this game is okay. And then I have Black Ops 2, I mean, sorry, um, 3. Um, this game's also okay. And then I have Call of Duty Modern, I mean, sorry, Infinite Warfare. Um, when I first got this game, I played it tons. I, I didn't really play the campaign. I actually didn't play the campaign at all. I just played multiplayer with bots. Because, you know, that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> now, this is not a game, but it's a Fortnite bundle I got. Um... Yeah, this is basically just a Fortnite skin. This is a real game. Um, yeah, I got the Deep Freeze bottle. Um, that's actually one of my skins. And the guys are probably going to ask me this. Well, Thad, if this is going to have any use for you anymore, then why do you still have... Like, it... And yeah, I know this case is very, very useful, but, you know, I still like to have a collection of gaming stuff. Um, and then I have Sonic Forces right here. Um, yeah, I was right. I don't think um, I did the Sonic games here. Um, yeah, I have Sonic Forces right here. Um, it's not one of my favorite Sonic games, um, but it's okay, though. Um, I, I actually haven't played it in a while. And then I have the Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Um, I'm not really a Mega Man fan, but, you know, I, I think the games are okay. Um... This game has all of the 4th uh, gen Mega Man games. Like all of the um, Super Nintendo ones. Um, they're okay. Um, well, not, well, this also has some of the, like... This also does have some modern games, too, but, yeah. I'm sure you guys get my point. Then I have uh, Crash Bandicoot and Sand Trilogy. Um, I haven't really played much of this game. Um... But yeah, so far my opinions is, you know, it's an okay game. Here, let me move these really quick. And then I have Dark Souls, which is a game I never really played a lot. Well, Dark Souls 3, I guess I should say. It's alright. And then I have Titanfall 2, which is another game I'd be in. Oh, another shoot, shoot I'd be in. 
Oh, by the way, I, I've actually beaten half of these Sonic games, just so you guys know. But yeah, um, this is a great game. I mean, not great, great, but you know, it's, I guess, 2% better than, than the games that I said were okay. But yeah, I actually beat this game um, a couple months ago. And then I have Friday the 13th of the game. Um, I actually did, did the gameplay on this um, with bots. I didn't even play with real people. Um, but yeah, this game's okay. And then I have Red Dead Redemption 2. I got like halfway through this. I haven't beaten it yet, but I might. But probably not, though. Then I have Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Right here. Gosh. Sorry, I have a freaking... My freaking night scene is in the way, so I can't really show you guys. But yeah, that's Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And then this is... Um, right here is the original uh, Smash Bros. Um, it's pretty good. And then I have Smash Bros. for Wii U. Um, I wouldn't really say it's um, just as good as any of the other ones, but it's okay, though. Um, yeah, um, now these are all my NES games. Um, I have um, Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt right here. Um, I don't even... I tried playing Duck Hunt when I first got this, and I just couldn't get a bird down for some reason. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's because I don't really understand... Well, not a bird, but a duck, but... Yeah, I don't know if it's because I don't understand the game too well, or, you know, my freaking gun just doesn't work. But yeah, um, I did play Mario way more than this Duck Hunt, because, you know, I like platformers. Then I have Super Mario Bros. 2, um, the American version. Uh, it's okay. Um, I, won't, I, won't, I don't know if I'd say if it's as good as the first game, but, you know... I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, and then I have um, Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels, which is the Japanese version of Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, this is not any different from the original. Um, it's basically the same game, but it's just harder, I guess. And the levels are different. Then I have uh, Tetris right here. Sorry, the brightness is terrible. Yeah, but and now I have Tetris right here. Um, it's okay. Um, I don't like... Um, Modern Tetris game is better, especially uh, Tetris 99 because you know playing with real people is better than playing with bots, I guess. So, well, I don't even play with bots at all in this game, but you know, I'm sure you guys get my point. Then I have uh, I don't even know what these are, but uh, I think this one's old. No, okay, yeah, um, I also have Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64, um, great game, you should try it if you're, if you're playing to be a Mario fan, um, you know, it's a great game, and then I have GoldenEye 007 right here, I mean, frick, no, not GoldenEye 007, but Mario Kart 64, um, GoldenEye 007 is down here, actually, I just noticed that. Sorry guys, um, yeah, I have more, I, I just realized I have all, I, I have all the Mario games in order right here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. I'm gonna end this video, I'll put them back right over. Because, you know, it'd be very difficult <laughs> just using one hand. And then I have Luigi's Mansion, which is a game I kind of beat in, but, you know, didn't. Because I didn't collect all the boos. And I guess I need to get all of them to beat the game, but I guess not. Um, yeah, this is a great game. Oh, maybe not great, but pretty good, I guess. And then I have Super Mario. Then I have Super Mario Sunshine, uh, which is also, I guess, just as good as Mario 64. I guess I'd um, see that's a great starter game as well. Then I have Mario Spur Star Baseball. Um, it's okay. Then I have Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, that game's also okay. Maybe not, maybe not as good as the other ones, but it's okay. And then I have Mario Party 4, which is also an okay game. Um, and then... Then I have two games here that I haven't even tried yet. Um, 
I have Power Rangers Dino Thunder. I might actually try this tonight, but probably not though. Maybe this weekend. Then I have Pac-Man Fever. Um, I've actually played this game a long time ago. But, you know, I completely forgot everything about it. But, yeah. Um, I actually played this at my cousin's house a long time ago. So. Yeah, I think my cousin actually gave this to me. Yeah. I'm going to put these here and put them away later. Focus. Focus. Thank you. <laughs> and then... I have a bunch of personal glass right here that are probably rotting. But, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Um, then I have Mario Party 5, which is, I guess, as good as Mario Party 4 over here. Yeah, I have Mario Party 5. And then Super Mario Galaxy, which is another game I recommend for starters. Um, it's a great game. And then another Mario game I... I have the same opinion on. I'm um, going Super Mario Bros. Wii. And then I have Super Mario All-Stars, which is um, an entire collection of the old games. Um, that are, I wouldn't say remastered, but you know, the game just looks different. It looks more SNES than um, the, the original, I guess I should say. And then I have Kirby's Epic Yarn, which is a game I haven't played in a long time. Um, it's pretty good, and then, uh, well, I, mean, well, I don't know, <laughs> sometimes it's just hard to me to express my opinions on the games I haven't even played much, but, yeah, and then, I have, okay, this one's called Night Level 7, I know that for a fact, um, that game I suck at, because I am not used to the controls, I'm more used to, like, modern first-person shooter controls, like Call of Duty and stuff, I'm not used to using, um, one joystick, um, Anyway, um, then they have Lego Mario, Mario, <laughs> Lego Marvel Superheroes, um, it's an okay game, and then I have Nintendo Land, um, which I haven't played yet, but it looks okay, and then I have Assassin's Creed 3, which is another game, I think I've played this, um, I can't remember though. But, yeah, and then I have Zombie U, which is okay. Not the best zombie shooter game, but, yeah, it's okay. And then I have Star Fox Zero, which is actually really, really good. Um, probably just as good as Star Fox 64, which is a game I don't own, but I wish I did. And then I have Star Fox Guard. Um, that's an okay game. Then I have Super Mario Maker, which is a game I used to play a lot. I, I even... I created the original Mario level once. And no, guys, I, I do not... Well, of course I don't have a second game because it hasn't even came out yet. But hopefully I can get Mario Maker 2 when it comes out for the Switch. If it hasn't yet. And then they have Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games um, for the Wii, of course. Um, um, it's an okay game. Uh, not one of my favorites, but... Yeah, it's alright. Then I have Iron Man 2, which I haven't played much, so I don't know. I mean, I guess it's okay. Um, I don't even have much of an opinion on it. Then I have the Incredible Hulk, which is actually a very fun open world game um, just to mess around on. I don't even follow the story um, at all. But, but yeah, I just mess around in it, and that's my favorite part about the game, just freaking the, the sorting crap with the Hulk. Then they have Green Lantern, which is a game that I barely played much um, as, as well. Um, same with Iron Man 2. Um, yeah, I guess it's okay. Um, I, don't have, I don't have much of an opinion on that yet. Again. Then they have Thor. Um, same with, same with um, Iron Man 2 and Green Lantern. I don't have much of an opinion I have an opinion on this because I barely, I barely played it. I've only played like probably five minutes of the game, maybe like ten. Then they have Mortal Kombat X, well, XL now. Um, it's it's pretty good. Um, um, I do not have Mortal Kombat 11, but hopefully I can get it someday, and maybe that might be. It's probably, it looks either just as good as this game, or, you know, it's 
a bit, a bit better. Um, I don't think it really looks any different. But yeah, let me move this really quick. And then I have Assassin's, sorry, Assassin's Creed Black, Fla Black Flag. Sorry, Mumble. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I do, I do actually think this is better than um, Assassin's Creed 3. Um, but yeah, I do actually have a full opinion on this because I actually have played a few levels, but yeah, the game's okay. Then I have, yeah, another superhero game that I don't have much of an opinion on. Actually, I haven't even played this game at all yet. I just realized that. Yeah, I might play that um, sometime this weekend, but doubt it. Then I have Uncharted 4, which I haven't played yet either. Then I have Battlefield Bad Company. And it, it is not really any different from all the other Battlefield games, um, in my opinion. It's probably... In my opinion, I think it's just as... Actually, no, that's a lie. I think Battlefield 3 is better than Battlefield Bad Company. But, you know, it's still an okay, an okay game, though. Same with Battlefield 3. Which is, of course, no crap, another game I own, because, of course, I'm showing it. Then I have the Born Conspiracy. Um, it, it's an okay game. Then I have um, The Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. Um, this is actually a, a very fun beat em up. Um, but, yeah. It's fun, um, but it's not like, I don't know, it's just so hard to express my opinion on, on the games that I haven't really played much. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I've played this game a little bit, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good beating up, but I think um, Sock and Leash is better. Oh, wait, hold on. I actually skipped Sark Unleashed. I just realized that, yeah, I have Sark Unleashed um, for uh, the Xbox 360 and the Wii. Um, yeah, I think Sark Unleashed is a better beat em up with the Werehog than, you know, Spire of the Dragon. Um, but yeah, it's still no, it's still um, an alright game, though. I just think Sark Unleashed does a better job. Oh, anyway, um, then another superhero game that I do not have much of an opinion on. Still, Bat, me and Arkham City. Um, that game I've actually played. Sorry, guys, I have a terrible freaking memory. <laughs> yeah, I actually tried doing a playthrough on this once, I think, and, you know, um, just somehow it didn't really go well. I only watched, um, like oh, the first cutscene and stuff, and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't have an opinion on this game yet. And then I have the Serious Same Collection. Um, these are all really great games, especially um, Second Encounter. Um, then I have Skylander Spiral's Adventure, Quant Focus. Yeah, I have Skylander Spiral's Adventure. Um, oh, by the way, guys. And these are all the figures I have, and, come on, focus, jeez, please. Yeah, these are all the figures I have, um, just Dino Ring and Spider, -Man. this is I'm plugged in, part all but, yeah, Skylanders is actually, uh, where, where was it at? Yeah, right here, um, it's alright, it's okay, come on, focus, my phone's been so bad at focusing, yeah, it's an okay game, but, yeah, I guess. Um, then I have the outdated Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Um, I used to play this game a lot. It's a great game, but I don't know if I still have a great... I don't know if, like... I don't know. I'm going to actually trade this game in for the PS4 version sometime. Because, you know, that's where I've used it in this one. But, um... You know, I guess the Xbox 360 edition is still pretty good, in my opinion. I mean, it's still Minecraft, anyways, but... Yeah, then I have Assassin's Creed uh, Revelations, which is a game I haven't played yet. Same with Quake 4. And Borderlands, um... 
I haven't played my own copy yet, but um, I have played this game once at my friend's house, and um, it's okay. And they have Nam Namco Museum, which has um, a bunch of old arcade games in it, like Pac-Man and Galaga and stuff. Um, it's a great game. Well, not great, but um, I don't know. I, I really like Galaga, so I guess I'd call this a great game. And I have um, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the GameCube and Steam with Majora's Mask. Um, it's it's okay. Um, I'm not really a big Zelda fan, so yeah, I'm sorry if you're a big Zelda fan, but you know, it's, it's an okay game. I don't hate this game, but you know, it's just not my favorite at all. Or, you know, just... Oh, it's so hard for me to express my opinions on. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I know I'm being very cringy right now, but I'm not I'm not starting this video over. Then I have Naruto. Then I have Naruto to Clash of Ninja. This game is okay. And then I have uh, Jericho. Or I'm sorry if I'm singing it wrong, but it's another I guess average shooter in my opinion. Not the best game, but... Oh, by the way, guys, just because I say not the best game or if it's an okay game, that doesn't mean I don't dislike it or... Hate it. It's just that I don't really... I just think that... I just think that there's better games. So, yeah. Anyway, it's just so you guys know. Then I have Assassin's Creed 2, um, which is... Okay, um... Yeah, and then I have Soul Calibur 5, which is sword fighting game, um, that game's okay, then I have Transformers of the game, um, which I haven't played yet, then I have Resident Evil 6, which is actually, I guess, a pretty good game, um, yeah, I'm not really a big Resident Evil, f well, yeah, I, I'm not, but, um, I do think Resident, Resident Evil 6 is, I guess one of the best Resident Evil games, in my opinion. Then, um, uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I think I played some of this game a long time ago. Um, I think I got like halfway through it. Then I have Link's Crossbow Training, which is actually really, really fun. Um, for the Wii. If you're a starter, actually, no, never mind. I wouldn't recommend that game for starters. But, um, to me, um, is all the game I'd recommend for starters is Ocarina of Time, either for the GameCube or the, um, Nintendo 64. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know what this game is, but, uh, oh, it's, it's a Tony Hawk game. Um, I guess it's okay. Um, I used to play Tony Hawk a lot when it was... You know, not the Xbox 360 like Tony Hawk, but you know, um, games before that though. I played, I played the Xbox, like the original Xbox version of, actually this is the original Xbox version. Yeah, it is, I think, I don't know. I don't know which Tony Hawk game it is, but I, I know that it's Tony Hawk though. Um, I can't really read a lot of the title. Um, then they have Justice and... Injustice, Gods Among Us, um, pretty good game, um, it's made by the same people that made Mortal Kombat, and then, uh, then I have Amps of the Walking Dead, which is, a no opinioner, another, another no opinioner, um, I guess I should say, so I'll just say it's okay, just like all the other games. Then I have Assassin's Creed the original, which I have not played yet, so I don't know what my opinions on that are yet. Then I have my other copy of uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Sorry, I was um, I just spaced up for a sec. Um, I was um, I was making sure that um, I got my PS4 version, but. Somehow I'm not even seeing it in my collection here. It's probably it's, it's somewhere. Though. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, 
so um, this is in the PS4 version that I was talking about. Yeah, so I have this version of Call of Duty Ghost, and then I have uh, this version as well. Focus. And then all these are just movies. Yeah, so that's my entire video game collection, pretty much. Out of all of these. Now let's, I'm going to get to my, uh, hold on. Yeah, um, I was about to say, now let's go to my Nintendo Switch, um, games. Um, I have Smash Ultimate. Um, the, the cartridge is actually in, uh, my console right now, so. Yeah, um. I'm gonna open up my Switch really quick now and show you the games I have in there. Um, the digital ones, so just hold on. I do not have all this advanced editing stuff, so I'm just gonna put my phone down for a sec. I'm sorry. And just let me turn my switch on. My switch is over here. <clears throat> so let me set it up. Sorry, guys. Loud. Okay, then, um, of course, uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and then, oh yeah, Fortnite right here, um, the Switch version, I also have a PS4, PS4 version too. Then I have Tetris 99, which is a fantastic game, well, of course, Smash Fortnite, I guess, but, you know, I, I, I honestly think that Fortnite is better than Tetris 99, but Tetris 99 is a good game too, and then, um, let's go here really quick. I've got to turn this down sometimes. So, um, okay, so, um, these are, all, these are pretty much all the games I have in the online Nintendo Switch thing. So, of course, there's, um, I haven't even, I haven't even played half of these, so. Yeah, so, um, there's the original Mario Bros, and then, well, not Mario Mario Bros, but Super Mario Bros, and then Super, Super Mario Bros 3, and then this football game, and then there's tennis, and then there's the original Zelda, which is another game I recommend for starters if you plan to become a Zelda fan. Then I have Yoshi, I even know that Yoshi had his... I own the same game besides Yoshi's Island. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> and then soccer. And then... Uh... Ring City Ransom. I don't know what the heck that is. And then, uh... Pro Wrestling. And then, of course, the actual original Mario Bros. And then Ice Hockey. And then Ice Climber. And then... Uh, Galactic. Wait, no, Gradius. That, that's what it is. I'm sorry. And then, uh, come here, just cannot focus. So annoying. And then I balloon fight. And then, uh, baseball. And then the original Donkey Kong. And then Double Dragon. And then Dr. Mario. And then X Bike. Which is the game I used to have on the Wii Virtual Console. But then I, then I deleted it for some reason. Probably because I barely played it. And then, uh... And I have, uh, Ghosts and Goblins, which is, I think, a very terrible game. Um, I think in the Angry Video Game Nerd did a review on it, and it was just... He was not happy about it. And then, gosh, focus. Okay, then I have, um... Another Legend of Zelda, SPS Special, whatever that it is. And then Dodgeball. Okay, that sounds just interesting. And then Sol, Amon's Key, and then NES Open. Okay, look, it's Mario. <laughs> NES Open Tournament with Mario on cover because 
I guess he's not the greatest Marvel he has Nintendo's mascot. And then, um, not a Gradius. And then, the original Metroid, and then Mighty Bomb Jack, I guess. Then Twin Boo, or, yeah, Twin Boo. Then Wario Woods, and then Ninja. Ninja Golden, Gold, I guess, and then our, what's, what are these SP things? Are these, like, I don't know what, what the SP thing means, but anyway. Yeah, so there's the original Metroid, and then there's Dr. Mario, which is, I guess, another game like Tetris, but with pills in it that Mario throws. And then um, there's Low. Low. That looks very bizarre, but okay. And then uh, Blaster Master. And another Ghost and Goblins SP special, and then Ninja SP special, and then um, the Legend of Zelda Adventures of Link. Um, that's this is actually a really good game. And yeah, another game I recommend for starting your Zelda fan, Zelda fans. But you know, I think um, to be honest with you, I think um, I do think the original Zelda is better than this one, but. I guess this one's pretty good too. But yeah, um Then we have Blast Master or whatever this I can't even read that because of the SP thing. And Kirby's Adventure, which is a, another game I owned on the Wii Universal Console. It's a great game. Well not great, great, but you know, I guess it's pretty good. Um and then I have why are there so many Metroids? Jeez. <laughs> and I have, um, then there's Super Mario Bros. 2, um, which is, I guess, the, the Switch Online version. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I don't know why I say that. I'm being so crazy right now, but anyway, um, then I have Kid Icarus, and then Kirby's Adventure again, and then Star Tropics, and another Adventures of Link, and then Super Mario Bros. 2, the um, Japanese version. Again, same as the original. Um, yeah, and then uh, Star Soldier, and then Punch Out, and then Kid Icarus again, has to be special. And then Clue Clue Land. Literally half of this game, literally half of these games just looks so bizarre. That's probably why I haven't played them. Um, then there's Donkey Kong Junior. Um, which is a game I've never ever played before. Same with of course fifty percent of these games. And then another Star Soldier, and then versus X Spike. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty much everything here. Now, let's go to my uh, DS games. So, so that we uh, put this back in the Hold on. Oh, by the way, not just DS games, but Game Boy Advance games as well. So, yeah, just so guys know. Okay, alright. Alright, uh. Start off with these. Frick. Okay, alright. So, um, I have. I do have Sonic, the um, originals of Sonic Advance, but that's in my DS case right now. But over here is Sonic Advance 2 and Sonic Advance 3. Um, pretty good games. Not the best, not my favorites, but you know. Um, these are much like the original games, but you know, with, I guess, modern Sonic in it and 2D sprites. But yeah, um, 
pretty good games. Um, these are all pretty much the same game, I guess. Um, but um, but with um, different storylines and different levels and stuff. And yeah, they pretty much play the same. So yeah. Um, okay, let me, now let me find my DS stuff really quick. Okay. Um, all right, I, I got it. Okay, so. Uh, these are all the games I have for the DS. Um, so I have uh, Lego Star Wars, um, the complete Sega, well Saga, not Sega. And then another Star Wars game, um, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Then I have <coughs> Mario Hoops 3 on 3. And then Transformers, uh, Revenge of the Fallen uh, Decepticons. Then I have Spider Man um, Web. Wait, yeah, Web of Shadows. Um, it's it's okay. Um, all the games um ab ab above here are actually okay games, not the best though. Then I have G Force, which is a game I'm playing forever, so I can't really, really remember much about that. So I don't really have much of an opinion, but I guess it's fine from what I remember. And then I have uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Uh, Mini, Mini Land, uh, my cummy, um, sorry. Sorry, my camera is such, it's having such a bad time focusing. But yeah, um, this game I haven't played in a while either, so still not much of an opinion. Because uh, I can't really remember a lot. Then I have Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Um, pretty good game. Well, not pretty good, but I guess it's alright. Then I have uh, Cars, which is a game I haven't played in. I haven't played it at all. And then, oh my gosh, um, Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, and then, yeah, March of the, Min, what does it say? Minis, I guess? Yeah, I, I haven't played that game in a long time either, um, but, yeah, I have the same, like, non-opinion as... Uh, this one over here. You understand, you guys? Now I haven't played um, the first game, second one in a long time. Then uh, I have the Sonic Classic Collection, which is a great game. Um, maybe not as good as um, you know the GameCube version of uh, Sonic Mania Collection, but it's it's okay. It's a good game to play on the go if you just want to. I guess play old Sonic games on a car ride or something. On a trip. Or, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm not... <laughs> I think I'm going to lose my voice. Then I have Red Hat 2, which is a game I never played, so no opinion on that. And I have Mario... Sorry, Super Mario 64 DS. Um, not as good as the original, but still... I guess pretty good as the original. Okay, that made no sense whatsoever. Um, yeah, the original is 2% better than this one, but yeah, this is still the email. Then I have, uh, what is this? Are those copy scenes? That's weird. But anyway, so, um, then I have Lego Batman, which is, I guess, okay. Um, to me, it's not really any different from Lego like, Star Wars, except for that it's Batman, and it's a superhero game. And then, uh, over here, um, I have Sonic Advance, um, the original. Wait, no, that's a lie. It's not the original Sonic Advance, but it's, uh, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Um, I think this is a prequel to... Um, the complete saga. My phone's having 
have time for focusing. Gee, it's so annoying. But yeah, um, I think Sonic the Hedgehog is um, on the other side of my case. Hold on. I didn't lose it. Yeah, I'm not finding it. It's probably in the room somewhere. Scattered, but yeah, um, right here I have um, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Um, half of the cover art is all torn up. But yeah, it's basically just a handheld version of Mario Kart 64. But, you know, yeah. I mean, no, it's not just like Mario um, Kart 64, but, you know, it's almost like it because the, um, this is the way the characters look. I mean, they look just like, um, their, um, 64 counterparts. Then they have Golf. Um, it has Mario on the cover, of course. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I haven't played this game in a while, but, you know, I guess it, well, actually, I mean, yeah, I haven't played this game in a while, but, um, I guess my opinion, I guess I remember some of it, um, I don't know, I just don't know, forget it, sorry, guys, uh, yeah, but I wonder where, so oh, wait, I think it's in my DS right now, or in my Game Boy, oh, it is in my Game Boy, okay. Yeah, I did not lose it. It is right here. The original, the original Sonic Advance. Pretty good game, actually. Just like these ones here. Yeah, anyway, so... Um, I'm going to put this in my DS case so I don't lose it. So yeah, that was pretty much all of my games, I guess. I should say. Um, now let's move to the consoles and stuff. So, oh wait, never mind. Um, I still have this thing that I need to show games of. So, yeah. Um, so I have Contra, the first one, then Super Mario, and then Trooper, then Chippendale 2 or some crap like that, and then Blood Fight. Heavy Barrel, um, Ice Story, Ninja. I think some of these are, are just like parts of other games. Like, and when it says uh, Ninja Guy 3, I think that just means that um, it's still the original game, but you know, it's at the third level. Yeah, I'm gonna actually not even show any of these, but um, yeah, I'm not going to. But here, we'll just just for those of you that wanted to, I guess, see all of this. Yeah, I'm not going to show you guys any of these because it's going to take so long for me to do that. And also, I think half of these are just, like, not real games, but, you know, like, parts of, like, real games, I guess. But, anyway, so now let's get to the game consoles now. Sorry about the cringe. Come on, focus. Thank you. Okay, um, so I have the original Nintendo Entertainment System right here. I got this at a garage sale uh, last summer. It was 18 bucks, surprisingly. Very cheap. But yeah, it's a great console, though. And then I have the all Wii right here. Um, I used to play on this a lot. Um, it's a great console. Then I have my first ever game console, uh, the, Ninten the Nintendo 64. Um, my dad gave this to me when I was about five years old. And I played a crap load of Mario Kart 64. Uh, yeah. 
I loved that game. Um, then I have the Xbox 360, which is a console I still use a lot. And, yeah. Uh, and, of course, I have my Nintendo Switch right here. Um, the rest of my setup is at my mom's house. Um, I'm at my dad's house right now. And, you know, I just have this in my case. Um, but, yeah, again, the rest of my setup is at my mom's house. And then... In the other room... Um, Oh, by the way, that's my sister's Xbox, just so you know, so I'm not going to talk about it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, this is my PS4. Um, yeah, and then right here is my Wii U. And then, yeah, um, that's pretty much all the... Um, Consoles I have out here, and then um, if I go over to this room, um, this is my gaming PC, which I don't play on anymore because you know the graphics card is absolutely dog crap. So this summer I'll be getting a new PC, which will be the SkyTech Arc, Arch, Arc, one of the freak it is Archangel. Angel. Wait, no, Archangel, that's what it is, Archangel. My gosh, a lot of people think I'm stupid, but whatever. Oh my gosh, focus, please. What the heck? So annoying. But yeah, this is my very crappy gaming PC, and then... Yeah, I don't know if you guys um, knew this, but... Um, this is my whole, P whole PC. This isn't just a monitor. So that's probably why it's very bad. Is because it's not a big box or anything. So. Yeah. And then, um, of course, here's all of the keyboards and stuff. And, you know, all the stuff that came with this. Which I probably won't want anymore once I get the SkyTech Archangel. Um. I'm getting the um, white version, I'm not getting the black one. Yeah, and yeah, you guys, that was my entire collection. It took me almost an hour to show all you, all of you guys this. Um, that shows how much of a gamer I am, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I guess that'll be it. Um, yeah, you guys, hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if I've been, if I was cringy a lot, um, due to mumbling and, you know, just brain farts and all of that. I really am sorry. I promise you guys I will try to, um, know myself a bit more, a bit more I guess, so I have less brain farts about things. Um, I guess my opinions, you know, I, I should say, um. Yeah, you guys. Anyways, um, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, um, in the comments down below, I'm just gonna say this out of nowhere. In the comments down below, please let me know what um your favorite game console is and um video game in general because I'm curious. Um, and I mean out of my collection, um, not just any one in general, but. Yeah, you guys all be it. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, you guys, so peace out. And have a great day. Day. I mean, yeah, day. Sorry, I thought I said something else. Yeah, have a great day, guys. Take care.